Good evening. Welcome to Music Master's Piano Showroom. My name is Brian Henselman. I'm here this evening to give you a quick comparison of two of our finest Broadman models, the PE-121 Professional Edition 48-inch Studio Upright and the PE-126i 50-inch Institutional Studio Upright. Now, the third thing I'm going to show you is a high-quality Kawai, a 52-inch model. And the reason I'm showing you this is I want you to see why we prefer Broadman versus, say, a high-quality Yamaha, Kawhi, or even a Steinway. Let's start off, first of all, with the 121. Being a Viennese scale design, it's going to be an authentic reproduction of the sound you would have found during the 19th century. We're talking a very warm tone, lots of sustain, allowing artists to be expressive, and at the same time, they could be... Uh, enthusiastic without creating a harsh tone. So we'll start with the 121. I'm going to play really big chords, but I want you to listen to how no matter how hard I hit the piano, it's never harsh. It's always a warm, brilliant, but inviting song, sound. Now, I'm going to play the same chord passage on a 52-inch Kawhi Studio Upright. First thing you're going to notice is that it's going to be loud, it's going to project well, but I want you to listen to the sustain. It's going to require that I play faster before the notes die. Listen to it. You'll see what I mean. It's a big sound, but it's not necessarily a beautiful sound. Now, I'd like to introduce you to the 126i. What it is, is a more modern scale version created by Broadman to give you the best of both worlds. It gives you the warmth of the 121 because it uses the same German hammer and not Japanese hammer. And there's a big difference because a German hammer is cold pressed. That means it is a more resilient. It springs and rather than attack. Uh, the second thing it offers is it's going to offer you the projection, some people call it penetration, of a higher tension modern scale found in Yamaha or Kawai. So here's the 126i. I can play much slower and it'll support it. Now, just in case you think I'm trying to be dramatic, I am being dramatic, but that's what a musician's trained to be. We're trained to project what the composer intended. And if the composer wanted you to be dramatic, you need a, a piano that provides for that. Now, let's give you a true musical example why it's important. I'm going to pick a piece that Beethoven would have played on his Broadman. And you can hear how playful, whimsical, how slow, how expressive I can be, and at the same time, I'm never worried about it being harsh. silky, very warm. Audiences like that. Now, here's what it sounds like on a good quality, but modern Japanese piano.
I've noticed how quickly the sound died off. Now, I'd like you to hear it on the PE-126i. What's not to love? Now, we respect Yamaha, we respect Kawhi, we respect Steinway, but when we're looking for value, nobody beats Broadman. Now, a couple other little features I'm going to show you, and then I'm going to wish you a good evening. One of the things that we like about Broadman is they're one of the few manufacturers that the piano kind of grows with your child's or your student's needs. For example, when you buy a Yamaha or a Kawhi, you're going to get a standard duet bench. Okay, it looks like this. That's a standard duet bench. Nothing wrong with it. Now, at the same time, when you get a Broadman, you get an artist bench. This is adjustable. You can raise it or lower it. Well, the reason that's important is as your child grows taller, you lower the bench. But when you have a young child trying to play a big piano, you have to raise the bench. Broadman's prepared for that. Now, in closing, I'd like you to see what a Viennese scale design looks like. All right. Now, I'm going to show you. In the base, you have all of these A-graphs. A-graphs are much more expensive to manufacture than a standard modern scale. Now, what makes this Viennese and not, say, a, a modern action with A-graphs, which the U5 or the Kawhi K800 have, but the K300, K500, K400, they don't. They're just, they use just straight row of pins. But what you're going to find that makes this truly Viennese is here, the secret. These A graphs continue from the base all the way up to note 88. Now, that's the same scale design you're going to find in the lineage of really high quality expensive brands such as Busendorfer or even Beckstein. But you're also going to pay a premium for those pianos. They're going to be about forty to fifty thousand dollars. So I'm going to show you in comparison. Again, good quality piano, but a typical Japanese piano will have this. This is just a standard. Sorry, this is just a standard row of pins, and then this is called a V bar. That's a much cheaper manufacturing process. Anyhow, we wanted to thank you for your time. If you have any questions feel free to reach out to me. My name is Brian Henselman, and I'm with Music Master's Piano Showroom. Have a good evening.